okay. That's pretty cool, huh? That's pretty cool. And then we got this board. Yo, good morning, good morning. Today is the first day of the hackathon. Let's get it. The, I mean, the prize pool is huge. Like the first uh, first place out of the million dollar prize pool, it was like $100,000 in the first place. Uh, second place gets 75,000. Okay. Third place gets 50,000. All the way down to 10th place, um, which I, I think it ranged from 100,000 to 10,000. 100,000 to 10,000? 10, um, so this is like me. So I'm going to be building a prompt for Bolt to get my project started today. Yes, today is May 30th. That means we can start the Bolt Hackathon. $1 million, let's go. If you need to know the rules, um, the prizes, anything like that. There's my son. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Um, a board so I can set it on that way. Okay, if you need to know the rules, if you need to know the prizes, I have two videos on that, so go check those out. Um, so we're diving in here. Oh, and last thing, if it's not June 30th, you can still join the hackathon and build something, so no matter when you're watching this, prior to June 30th, join in. You gotta register, super easy, and I go through that in that video. So we're going to build a prompt for Bolt so that chat and AI can chat better with Bolt. So people use this trick before. I've actually never used it before, so we're gonna try it here. And I'm just gonna type what I would usually type in Bolt and just do it in chat here. And then I'm gonna say make a prompt for Bolt. So uh, make a prompt for Bolt.new tubes with Bolt.new. Okay, so we're gonna tell it to do that. Oh, create oh, a dashboard with page and. We are kind of following, where is it? Here, here it is, apparel management app. And basically, it's. I want it to look kind of like this, but I'm not going to use Figma to import Figma into Bolt to create it because I don't want this exactly. Uh, what I do want is a couple screens, like this screen I want here, the, the planner. So this is going to be on the dashboard, um, and it's similar to the Solidus theme that I saw a company make a long time ago. I don't even remember who made it. Um, and then also this fizzy issues I'm using as inspiration. Uh, but I want this right here, this Kanban board style right here. So backlog production that. So I probably will use this screenshot for the prompt, but this is going to be in the dashboard. So here, I'm actually going to write this on here just in case. <laughs> All right. So the dashboard will have a homepage, a homepage, paste that, see what it does. Oh, I mean, I think this is good. <laughs> I'm not looking for it to be too crazy because I don't want it to, uh, I don't want it to do too much work getting the application set up. So I'm just going to do it like this and then see how it works. It's going to go to bolt for creating a new chat. So paste it there. And I don't think I need that in there. Just make sure some of this gets deleted, so it's not all weird. Put it in here. All right, let's see how this does. What do we think? Ah, oh, sorry, the screen recording's a little bit um, done, but I'll fix that in a sec. All right, we're all finished up here with the prompt, and let's see what it gave us. So, if you can see here on the left, we got the core features, Kanban board, setting panel, responsive, blah, 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 design, design, design. Create all these files, check, start an application. So then they give us this orange brand. I mean, I kind of like the orange brand, that's nice. Let's see. Oh, look at that. That's pretty crispy though. That's pretty crispy though. I'm gonna share this. I want to see what the um oh look it even got the text here good so I don't know why I'm surprised I guess the AI I'm sometimes just surprised on how well it does see that uh, Kanban oh let's check this out holy sheets
That's crazy. I am so surprised. <laughs> so, they got the Kanban board awesome. None of the buttons work, that's fine. My name's John Doe, cool. Alright, that's super sick. I'm, I'm excited now. So, the next part in here is I'm going to make some of this Kanban stuff work, and then I have to connect the Shopify API to this. Alrighty, so I wanted to go over this custom API integration. And first off, I just integrated with Superbase. So Superbase is your database and edge functions. So with your database, it's just where your data gets stored. And so it's super easy to, to do this. You just go into integrations, you open it up, you sign in or sign up, and then you create a table or you create a um, project, and then you can start saving data to a new table that you create. Then there's also edge functions, which is what I wanted to talk about. So with Bolt, Bolt is a front end tool that uses Vite. And so Vite is also a front end tool, but it helps build the project. Um, so like everything that everything that Bolt's software is using, so it uses a bunch of different like packages and has to use different software to run the application. So Vite helps do that. And so it packages up your stuff and it puts it on the web so that it can run the way that it's supposed to. But it doesn't have a backend, a traditional backend. So Vite is just this, and then it runs on the server. Um, but in order to build out a backend, you have to have a backend. You have to have a custom backend here, which Bolt doesn't do. And that's where edge functions come in. So edge functions here is, um, where am I saying? So, uh, let me just look this up, edge functions. So edge functions are also known as serverless computing, server side code that runs at the network's edge. Uh, I can't find a good one as of now, but basically the edge function is an endpoint that runs a certain piece of code and then returns a result to your Bolt application. And so with, with that, I have, I have this code. And so I copied this code or I created it in chat and told it to use this Shopify API endpoint. And so what we're gonna do is copy this and then we're gonna tell Bolt to create a new endpoint. Sorry, all over the place. Create a new endpoint with it. So, ship out quests. It's just, I'm actually just going to. Uh, I don't need this. I wonder if I can just go back to be handled differently. Cool. So that'll then be the edge function, and it'll make the call in the background and give us that information back. So that's all I wanted to go over, and I'll stop it there and keep working. Alrighty. You might be wondering, well, Chris, what are you building? Well, I'm here to tell you. First off. Be looking like Michael Jackson up in here. I am a brand owner, apparel brand owner. I'm actually wearing one of my shirts, one of my hats. If you want one of these, just do things dot store. And it's part of my dad life brand, which I am about to fulfill these hats into those boxes right there. And so I run everything out of this office. And I'm sure if you've seen some of my other videos, I go through this a little bit more, but I run basically a hat brand, two hat brands, and I'm making a hat here. Just got done actually. And so my product is going to be building project management for your apparel brand. And so I can show you what I have. So I've been doing, I've been going back and forth between work and this <laughs> running commands for a few hours now. Maybe not a few, two hours at least. And I got something working. So let's see that real quick. We got a little product showcase here. And this is just dummy data. We got our Shopify integration. So look at that, Shopify, oh yeah. And then we got our Kanban here. To move it around. Move it around. And that's to help organize. And we got some settings there. So, it's coming along pretty well. I actually was able to get the Shopify products into the dashboard 
fairly easy. That was one part that I was uh, I was worried about doing, but I was able to do it. And now I'm setting up databases or the database with tables so that I can sync all my products to my database, keep them up to date, and then I will be able to start organizing my products and then adding new products into this software and just a whole lot of other things um, to make this actual project management for your apparel brand. So if you are a apparel brand owner and you wanna see it, you wanna work with it, let me know, cause I'd love to chat. Um, but besides that, I'm gonna get these hats done and go to the post office sometime today, keep hacking and do my day job. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. Hi, do you want to see my cool app I made? Yeah, show me. Look, I already made it this far. Look, this is the home page. It's wow. orange. I like it. <laughs> but look, dashboard. Look, you always get the product set up. You got the Shopify integration. Oh, look. okay. That's pretty cool, huh? That's pretty cool. And then we got this board. This is a work in progress, but pretty sick nice yeah looks like you made settings. a lot of progress day one day half of one day day point five hundred thousand dollars <laughs> <laughs> let's go <laughs> yo alrighty it has been almost a full day it's a uh, four three forty and I'm making good progress on this app I'm like super pumped about it I'm having fun and uh, yeah we're just trucking away I'm gonna probably keep this, I'm gonna keep this video a little bit short just because I'm trying to get it out ASAP because the hackathon just started and I wanna capitalize on that moment. Um, but I'm gonna be posting these videos maybe two or three times a week and giving y'all updates on how it's going, uh, how I'm thinking about the project, my plans. And I just tweeted out that one of my goals for the hackathon is to get one paying customer before the hackathon is over. And so that means I need to have a full project, full product that's usable. It's not just an MVP, but it's an MVP someone wants to pay, pay for. And that's a little bit different than just a simple MVP. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of one of my goals. One of my main goals, I guess, because I want to make this into a business. And so Follow along for the journey, subscribe, comment what you're working on, let's chat, I'm on X, and yeah, happy to, to help if anyone needs help with Bolt. So, and if you're Bolt, let's hook up, let's uh, connect. <laughs> Alrighty, that's it for this video, thank y'all for watching, and I will see y'all in the next video, happy hacking, see you later.